Hey y'all, it's Lonamore here. I'm back with another video and this week's video is going to be a Valentine's Day look. Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you all are going to be staying safe and um, basically making sure you're still following social distancing and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a cute look with you all. I don't know if I want to do a bold lip. That's why it's going to be very something, something realistic that I would actually wear on Valentine's Day look. I don't know what it is now with my makeup looks I kind of want to do looks that are realistic that I know that I would actually wear and not just come up with this dramatic look that I'm like okay girl you is not gonna wear that be sure to give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the eye look portion of this video toodles hey everyone okay so I have zoomed y'all in a little bit closer so we're gonna go ahead and get to the um, eye portion of this video my forehead has wrinkles ew i'm gonna go ahead and get to the actual eye look of the video that i said i was gonna do so i have my brushes right here and i have the palette the palette i'm gonna be using is the proof is in the pudding palette i already set my lids with the i went over my lids with some of my foundation and then i set it with the air spun powder um just to have like a base so i'm gonna go in with this palette i'm gonna kind of recreate the look that i was wearing in my what i got for christmas video if you guys have not checked that out be sure to view that video i really liked the makeup look i did it was very simple and still cute and very girly i really liked it I remember I had a lot of neutral browns and stuff. So I'm going to go in first with bread pudding, which is right here. I'm going to go with bread pudding. And I'm just going to put that all in my crease using my Morphe 504 brush. Okay, so after bread pudding, I'm gonna go in with rice pudding to, I'm going with rice pudding to lighten it up just a tad bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Nana Pudding, which is at the bottom, and kind of go all over with it. I just remember I had a very like neutral eye at the top, and then I had a pop of color at the bottom. So I'm just gonna blend all those shades in. I'm doing this using all of the Morphe. I'm doing this look using just strictly the Morphe 504 brush. And then I'm gonna use another brush. So then I'm gonna go back in with bread pudding just so I can deepen the crease just a tad bit. Ooh, itchy. Ooh, my hands are dry y'all okay I probably wouldn't wear the second lip combo I'm gonna show you but we gonna show it anyway I'm just gonna show you how to do it <laughs> anyway okay so the next brush I'm gonna use is the smudger the 226 by Jessup if you have not watched that video either I'll be sure to link it in the cards above and in the description box um, when I did a review on the Jessup makeup brushes. So I'm gonna be going in with the Zulu by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be using that pink in here, that beautiful, beautiful fuchsia-like pink, you know, to give your typical Valentine's Day look. And I'm just gonna honestly smudge that at the bottom of my um, lower lash line, basically.
want to do chunky glitter and all that stuff like are you really gonna want to take off glitter and all that 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 stuff like are you really gonna want to do all that me personally i'm not so i'm gonna take the color that's next to it it's like this really pretty champagne kind of rosy gold color mm. yeah i'm gonna put that in the inner corner so I'm going to take the Soft Lux Definer brush. This is literally my favorite brush to highlight my inner corner. So I'm going to take that and literally just blend, just highlight the inner corners like that. Literally my favorite brush to highlight my inner corner. That is so pretty. You can see like the gold flakes in there too. Literally my favorite brush to highlight my inner corner. I don't know why it is. It just really is my favorite brush to do this. So if you ever see me with inner corner highlight, just know this is the brush that does the magic for me. I think some people might feel like the eye look looks incomplete, but honestly for me, it's this is cute. I'm gonna put a little bit at the bottom. Very cute. I like to kind of do like half moon highlight. Ooh, that's cute. And then we're going to kind of blend it a little bit just so it doesn't look too. Okay, so now I'm going to put on some mascara because your girl, I got to tone down the pink at the bottom. So I'm going to go in with, the, of course, Great Lash. Y'all know that's my, my, my jam. Y'all know that's what I mess with is the Great Lash. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some at... Let's be extra. I probably would not wear this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with dual matte. It's this red, pretty red lip color. I probably would not wear this, let's be real. But yo, that is beautiful. That is like a gorgeous red. I don't know how well it's gonna look with this lip. At first I was gonna do this lip color, this butter lipstick by NYX, but that's really matchy matchy. Honestly, that will look really pretty. Yo, I'm kind of wanting to put this one on because that will look really like really, really pretty. And then like I have this other color, Studded Kiss. It's a classic in my collection that like deep vampy. I don't like the Studded Kiss. Okay, maybe not that one. Okay, and then one more. I have one more and one more and one more. I know I, I'm like all over the place right now, but this is what your hand look like after you've been, you know, trying on a bunch of colors. And I have this salmon-like color too um, by Makeup Revolution. Ooh, so many choices. Mm. Ooh, because this will look really pretty with this if you want to just keep it subtle. If you want to be bold, let's do the red. Let's see what the red looks like. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Oh my gosh. I know a red lipstick in my cut ever. I don't like it. <laughs> I like the lipstick, but I don't like it with this look. So let me like remove this and then i'll get back to y'all all right 
right, you all. So when I was doing this look, I was like, no, I'm not going to do an outfit. But y'all, I went in my closet and I was like, you know what? I have to come with an outfit. I have to come through with an outfit. I did it the last time. And yes, I had to come through with an outfit. Ooh, I look really cute. Like, okay, I'm gonna show y'all to the side what I wear. So I have on some light wash denim. Light wash denim with the knees cut out. I'll probably do a long view of the video. Ooh, let's ignore the fact that I'm still loaded, but who cares? So I'd wear this. I have this cute little crop top on. We're gonna hold our stomach in, act like we not bloated. I'm gonna hold my stomach in. So I'd wear this little crop top. Um, I'd do this cute little updo with my hair. Like I did the makeup, let's kinda get y'all. So I have on the Ardell Demi Wispies. You see I have the pop of pink and then I have this nude like lip going on um like a nude pink let me make sure the girls stay up but yeah i thought this would be so cute together and i did the pink belt um pink little skinny belt too i'm kind of looking at myself over in this angle but i did this all together so yes yeah, very cute and then also just in case your date's in the evening you could put this cute little jacket over top. You can do denim on denim. I think denim on denim will look really cute with this. So, yeah. So, this is a look, y'all. This is my Valentine's Day plus outfit, makeup look. This is like date night. I have on my Fila slides, but girl, I would not wear them. I would obviously wear a nicer shoe <laughs> not my slides unless you know i was with him for a minute then it'd be different but like no i'm gonna probably wear like maybe some flats um heels it depends where we're at you know it just depends on what the kind of date it is but this outfit gives me okay i could wear get away with maybe even a cute little kick i could probably like wear some all white shoes um probably with this just to not be too dressy and i feel like i could do like a short heel but not too cold too tall like i said it just depends on where the date goes but yeah y'all this is my valentine's day look that i will probably wear honestly realistically i'd probably wear this um without me being bloated obviously but let's ignore that let's not point out our flaws alana they don't care they probably don't even notice um yeah so i'd wear this um had my hair obviously looking cute i have it up in this bun i have my little faux nose ring in that I got from Amazon. I will leave the link down below for that. And then I just have on some gold earrings. I'm mixing metals since my eye like inner corner highlight is like a pinky gold, like a rose gold. So I kind of made like rose gold in a sense um, with using silver and gold, like kind of mixing metals since I have different types of, I have gold in here and then I have like silver here. So you can mix metals, you don't always have to. And then I'd probably change my watch band. I probably would obviously not wear the sunflower one, even though it's my, you know, my go-to. I'd probably wear, um, I think I have one that's like a sparkly one. I'd probably wear that one that's more a little fancy. Yeah, but this is my look. I gotta take some pictures for a thumbnail, y'all. I gotta get a thumbnail for y'all, so. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoy your Valentine's Day and be sure to leave it comments down below. What are your plans on that day? Are you planning on Netflix and chilling by yourself? Are you planning on Netflix and chilling with a significant other? Are you planning on going out to dinner? Let me take this coat off a little bit because these studio lights is burning me the blank up, you know? So yeah, like what are your plans? What are you, what are you planning on doing? I don't know what my plans are right now because I mean, I do know they are, but I don't know if they can change. You never know. But so far, I do have an idea what I'm going to be doing. And also, before I forget, if you're going on a date, don't forget your mask. Make a mask that, get a mask that'll match. I did go with the lip color where my, it won't smear. So make sure you pack your mask just in case you guys decide to go out and not stay in. Remember, stay safe. Um, so yeah, I just threw that. But yeah, I will talk to you all in the next one. Toodles! Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Um, to my sunshine squad, yes! I'm really feeling this look. This is a look. It's a look. It really is a look. Yes. Uh -huh.